Let's do 502 divided by 5. 502 is our dividend. It's getting divided up into five groups. And our quotient is how many will be in each group. I want you to think about what you know about 5 and the multiples of 5. And do you think this number is going to divide up perfectly into five groups? The multiples of 5 always have to end in a 0 or a 5. So 5 times something will get you to 500 and 505 and 510 and even 495. But you're not going to get 502 exactly, which means there is going to be a remainder. So if I had 502 pennies and I was putting them into five piles, there would be some left over that don't divide perfectly into those five piles. If you have this slideshow, you just click and type. On an iPad, it's a double tap and then type your number or just grab a piece of paper and follow along. I'm doing the standard algorithm, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and it's color coded. The hardest part for me when I get down to that blue is to remember to go back up to the purple and divide again. Something that can be helpful too is to write out your multiples of five because that's the number that we'll be dividing by. It's our divisor. If you have that written out, it saves you a ton of time. And it's just good practice too because if you don't have your multiples memorized, you will soon if you keep practicing. I do recommend that you try it on your own because otherwise you're not going to remember it quite as well and you won't get as much out of this. So I would say pause the video, try the first few steps, and then check in and see how you did or just check in if you get stuck. Step one is to divide. So I'm going to do five divided by five. Any number divided by itself is one. If I had, you know, five pennies and I was making a group of five, I could make one group of five. That's it. Next step is to multiply the last thing that we put, which was the one, and just go right back down. One times five equals five. Subtract, and we got zero. Bring down your next number, and it's a zero. And this is so funny because these questions always used to confuse me, but they're actually just so much simpler than they look. Because think about it, your next step is to divide. You're dividing zero by five. Okay, so if I have zero pennies, how many groups of five can I make? I mean, just picture that I have nothing in my hand and you say, make a group of five penny. I can't do it, right? The answer here is it's just zero. You can't do it, you know? How many times can fit five fit into zero? It can't. So you just put a zero up top. And then you just keep going. Zero times five is zero. And it seems silly, but that's just the way you do it. Zero minus zero is zero. And then you're going to bring down your two. That was our blue step there. So you go back up to purple. Now you're going to do two divided by five. So imagine, okay, you have two pennies in your hand and someone says make a group of five pennies. And you're like, are you kidding me? What, how do I do that? I only have two. You can't do it, right? You cannot do two divided by five. So it's a zero again. And then you multiply it back down. Zero times five is zero. Subtract, and here's your remainder. You got two left over. So if you had 502 pennies and you made five groups, each group would have 100 in it, and then you'd have two pennies left over that didn't divide up. And that makes sense because five times 100 is 500. So five times 100 plus two is 502.